the San Antonio Spurs visit Madison Square Garden. The New York Knickerbockers, big favorites here, laying nine points, minus 410 on the money line. The total here sits at 226. Um, we'll start with you here, Chris. You've got a look on a team total, and I have a different team total look, and maybe we should have just played the Knicks spread. I don't know. You start. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Knicks spread is a little too big for me, although they are at home in this one. This is a revenge game, and they faced this team a few games ago, and they didn't have Jalen Brunson in that game. Uh, so, you know, as usual, right, he's just a spark for their offense, and they were less efficient without him. But, you know, this is a nice spot for the Knicks to get the job done. So I'm going to take team total over 118 and a half. The Spurs are the worst team in defensive efficiency on the road this season. And they have been one of the worst, if not the worst team over the last uh, five to 10 games on defense. And obviously you're facing a Knicks team who they just, they always ebb and flow throughout the season. Sometimes it feels like they're really focused on defense and they're really clamping down. And then other times the defense kind of regresses and they find themselves more on offense. That's what's been happening a little bit more with the, New York Knicks, obviously you have to like the fact that they're at home and the Spurs don't present anything to really intimidate you as far as being able to stop Jalen, Jalen Brunson or any of the contributors on the Knicks offense. I, I do wish that R.J. Barrett was playing tonight, but you know, increasingly he's kind of just a role player in that offense with the rest of them. It's, it's really all about Jalen Brunson facilitating everything out there. So I, I think this is a smash spot for the Knicks and they go off on offense. So I'm going to take a Spurs team total under, and part of it, I'll agree with everything you just said there, Chris. What I love is how good the Knicks have been defensively, not only at home, but against some of these bad teams. If, if I've said it once on this show, I've probably said it a hundred times, blowouts are good for overs. Not when the Knicks are playing. Uh, when they get one of these uh, teams that really is not as good as them, they get up to a big lead. They slow the game down, really grind it out. You start to look at some of their past blowouts. A lot of their 15, 20-point wins, which they have a handful of this year, uh, are in games where they are really held their opponents to sometimes even less than 90 points. Now, the Spurs like to run the ball. If this game gets out of hand, Popovich has no problem just letting his guys out there to run to get some minutes and you know get some reps in there. So uh, happy to take the under 108 and a half here. I had it closer to 106 before, again, uh, looking in and maybe adding a little bit more value on this based on how the Knicks have done, not only at home, but against some of these bad teams that they've really taken care of. What do you think of this game, Ski? Yeah, I, I was closest to backing the New York Knicks to go over their team total. Uh, the thing that held me up is I just don't like the pace that they've been playing at. It's been extremely slow. But the Spurs defense has just been terrible. I mean, the worst defensive rated team in the last five games, um, well, the last two weeks, I think they're allowing – 127 points per game and if you look specifically on the road it's like 132 points per game they're allowing it's just absolutely pathetic uh they're the worst team defending at three so far this season so if i have to pick a play in this game i'd ride with chris on that new york knicks team total over i can dig it two team total plays for us chris likes the knicks team total over 117 and a half i'll take the spurs team total under 108 and a half 